So would you just like to hear a song to finish off the night? Yeah. Well, I think you'll like that one. I think you'll like this one. It's called Pat Shanahan's Cow, and it's to do with a particular uh, potion or drink that was very popular here up until the mid 20th century in Donegal in Ireland, and it's called Potching. And Potching, folks, was the Irish version of moonshine. And it was very popular in Donegal, and one third of all the potching in Ireland was actually produced in Donegal, in, in Donegal. The reason being, you needed quiet, lonely glens away from the law to make it. Because, of course, there was no gas back then, so you had to fire it with good black turf. Something like this here, folks. Good black turf, they're like semi-coal. And you see, these turf would give off a smoke no matter how dry they were. So the RIC were always watching to see could they uh, capture these potching makers. Now this particular song, I was delighted when I came across it, it's over a hundred years old and it's about a real life potching maker by the name of Pat Shanahan. Now I didn't know Pat Shanahan was a real life person until I was telling storytelling a couple of years in Donegal town and his distant relatives from Australia, they turned up for the storytelling session and they proceeded to tell me after I sang the song that they were rel relatives of Pat Shanahan and that he lived in a place called Ardahi near Donegal Bay and that he was living next door to the parish priest who was also fond of a drop of potching. <laughs> so you see back then if you were in with the priest you were, you were in with the whole community. So Pat Shanahan knew this. So this is an old song, an old Donegal song. Now you'll hear as well, he says it beats all the doctors. The reason being, Potchin wasn't only used for uh, festivities. It was also used, people used to rub it into their joints if they had arthritis. And if they found a cow, back then cows seemed to have a, a habit of falling into bog holes. And they might be there for a day or two. And there was a kind of a quick way of trying to revive a cow, which I suppose would have went hypothermic, and that was that one man held her mouth open and the other one emptied a half a bottle of potching <laughs> into her mouth. And I'll tell you folks, that cow's eyes would light up after about 10 seconds. <laughs> and it didn't, it, it didn't take much to get her out of the bog hole. <laughs> so this is about one, uh, uh, it's called Pat Shanahan's Cow. As all I can vouch for is Pat Shanahan and this story was a real life character. And it's what happened when his cow came across his potching still hidden in the hills. And it goes, there's a man from Ardahi, both proper and tall. He's one Paddy Shanahan as we do him call. Tis he brews the potching that does exceed all. Sure it beats all the doctors around Donegal. For if you were gasping and ready to die, the smell of it sparking would lift your heart high. So hoist it up higher, close under your nose, a Donegal man loves it wherever he goes. Sure we can't have a christening without it at all, we drink and sing chorus, shake hands and sing all. Here's a healthier gossips as we do them call, and if you be a ghost that you may see us all. Now Paddy, this rascal of late he had been, with steam and hot water he brewed his potching. He left it in barrels, I hear people say, till his cow took an ocean of drinking one day. <laughs> now as soon as old Branny this notion did take, she first broke the burrock and then pulled the stake. She went to the barrels and she drunk her fill, and believe me she didn't leave much of the still. <laughs> But when she got drunk, she began to feel shame, says she, Paddy Shanahan, calling him by his name. I'm as drunk as a beggar with juice off the malt, but Paddy of warning, it isn't my fault. Then she hiccuped and staggered and axe Pat to fight, and swore that and threw him she'd let the daylight, that his breed were all beggars, she told him to know. Then she dared him to stand on the tail of her coat. <laughs> well, next day she woke up with a bad broken horn, and she started to curse for the day she was born. She cursed barley and kilty and potching likewise, and all the still makers in under the skies. She advised all good cows for to mind their good name, and never take drink that would bring them to shame. <laughs> then she whispered to Paddy, she says in his ear, 
So you won't tell Luna I went on the beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Paddy had mercy, we give him renown. But when Una went to milk her, the milk it was brown. <laughs> Poor cow then says Una, tis her heart's blood she's given. We'll never be wanting as long as she's living. <laughs> now drink and be merry and forgive the old cow. Here's a health about Shanahan, whether or how. May never want potching head war a more still. On that sanctified place they call Kilogs Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.